Weekly Mining News. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And today we'll cover the news, the prices, and where a new starter can try and get in. So first off, let's have a look at the news. And in the news is Zinc is um, having a comeback. Now it's back up to two and a half thousand US a ton, which makes it just a bit under three thousand or three and a half thousand Australian a ton. And that makes it profitable again for most mines. So there's a few mines in Queensland that are ramping up production and there's a couple of mines that they're talking about reopening. So the zinc uses the same hard rock underground mining method that the sponsors training teaches you. And that's one of the good things about uh, learning how to do the sponsors training is that it just doesn't limit you to one metal. So that's what's going on in zinc. Next, Capricorn awarded Maccas a $410 million contract for their open pits over five years. Now, this is a good one for people that want to try and get in on the surface. You'll need a HR license. Macca is traditionally um, a place that will hire lots of new starters when they get the contract. Not necessarily the best payers in the industry, but always good for a new starter. Now, if you want to try and get into the surface, you'll need a HR license. But just be aware that because of the driverless trucks in iron ore, there are a lot of experienced people coming off those iron ore sites that are taking these jobs. So just be aware it could be very confusing. Competitive. Now, lastly, we'll talk about Boston Shaker. Now, this article is interesting for a couple of reasons. First off, because of how much gold they produce. So, 400, oh, sorry, yeah, 463,000 ounces. That works out to be just a bit under 14 and a half ton of gold. And if you think that a, uh, a ton of gold at the moment costs about 85 million Australian, there's a fair bit of profit in that margin there. Now, the other interesting thing about this story is that they're only underground off one of the pits. There are another three pits that they are talking about going underground off. And at the price that gold is at the moment, I would say that they'll be trying to ramp that up as soon as they can. So that's going to be a huge area for work in the future uh, with lots of um, underground opportunities going on in that area. So if we come over and we look at prices, gold's back up. In Australian dollars, it's back up over 2600 Copper's back up over 9,000. Nickel's back up over 20,000 Australian. So at those prices, everybody's looking to ramp up production and reopen mines. And that's where your opportunity is. If you have a look at the iron ore price, it's still up quite a lot. and But again, as I've talked about in previous episodes, that's more to do with the fact that Brazil's offline. So as soon as Brazil comes back online, that price will probably drop down to $90 or $80 a tonne. That's one of the reasons why the big three iron ore companies aren't trying to look at opening new mines. They're just trying to surf the wave of the high prices and maximise as much production as they can while they while they've got the opportunity to make as much money as they can. So lastly, we'll have a look at coal. And coal, unfortunately, is hovering around that $50 um, a tonne mark again. And as I talked about in last into, uh, the last news, uh, hopefully this will shake itself out in the next 6 to 12 months. But at the moment, coal's probably not a great place for a new starter to be trying to get in. If you're trying to get in, then you really need to have a look at um, Hard Rock Underground. So if you type hard underground in, um, you'll see all the jobs come up. And if you go through this first page, you'll see truck driver, nipper, offsider. The majority of the jobs on this front page are all going to have to be filled with new starters. And this is a where you can make yourself attractive to the employer with using the sponsor's training. So the intro to underground mining, it only costs... $450 teaches you everything that employer wants you to know as a nipper, a truck driver, a member of service crew. And if you have a look at last week's weekly news, you'll see a happy camper who bought DIY, got a job as a nipper. And like he says in this post down here, you know, $450 is a drop in the ocean. And that's what he did. He just did the DIY. He helped himself. And literally, he'll make that back on the first day. Most jobs as a nipper, you start on between $400 and $450 a day. So in Hard Rock Underground, entry levels, you do a two-in-one roster, is about $110,000 a year. And if you work your way up to the jumbo, you'll be making over $300,000 a year on a two-in-one roster. But if you don't want to have a go at underground and you would prefer to have a look at the open pits, up in open pit and truck, you'll see the opportunities come up. Again, you'll need a HR license for this. And my suggestion is to go to a mining town. You'll find it 
you know, near on impossible to get a, a an entry level fly and fly out job, especially like I said before, with all the people uh, flooding off the iron ore mines. The writing's on the wall up there. Uh, one of the big bosses for BHP sent an email around that he didn't mean to go to everybody outlining how that they intended to replace all the truck drivers over the next five years. So they've had a lot of people jump ship and those people are jumping ship into gold mines and copper mines and all the other pits around Australia that you can't use those driverless trucks in. So that's making it a little bit hard, harder for a new starter to get into the pit work. But like I said, if you really want to have a go, go to the mining town and that's probably your best place to have a look. The other area that they're screaming for people is exploration as fieldies. And once you get down a few jobs on the page, you'll see all the field assistant jobs. And these are all entry level. They'll um, end up needing to have to hire uh, new people to fill most of those jobs. And the other thing in exploration is offsider. So if you like camping, uh, then Offsiding on the surface could be a good fit for you, but if you're not sure about wanting to have to be responsible for cooking dinner for everybody, then you probably want to have a look at offsiding in a diamond drill rig underground, which can be a good way to get into the industry. And again, one of the guys used the training um, to do that a couple or a month ago now to get a start in WA doing offsiding. So there's some of the entry level roles and what was going on in the news in the week. So I hope you find that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions that you'd like answered, please send them through. And if you could like and subscribe and share this video around, please, that would be wonderful. Thank you.